guys, how's it going? Uh, Zoe here, and uh, I'm making a video on the new spooky stuff pack. Um, I know not everyone celebrates uh, Halloween, but I still think the stuff is really, really cool. And um, quite a lot of it you can actually, it looks as though you'll be able to actually play it in your game, you know, when even if um, you're not going to play the Halloween aspect. Uh, obviously it's going to help because the majority of it is to do with Halloween. Um, but anyway, I actually made this house uh, a little while ago before, I think when we uh, first found out that this Spooky Stuff pack was going to come out. And um, I did that so that I would be ready, <laughs> I guess. And uh, so the wallpaper and stuff like the railings and all that kind of stuff that's all you know the stuff that I had beforehand uh, so I think the only thing that's different is part way through when I actually have the stuff back and I'm decorating I go through and I uh, paint the top floor or the the top living floor um, I, I decorate it with uh, a wood and it's like really worn down and uh, like a charcoal grey and it was actually the same colour as the wood that I put there originally so I thought it worked pretty well uh, but I try and stick and use as much of the spooky stuff pack that I can do uh, in, the, in this build. I also, with the roofs, I made them concave to make it look as though uh, possibly they were um, falling apart and caving in, like they were that old. Um, but yeah, we're just going through and adding some decorations. Uh, partway through this video, I leave in uh, a little segment where I uh, show you all the new things in the stuff pack. And uh, I show you different swatches, but you get to see more of those. Uh, later on so if you don't see all the swatches there you'll probably see them later on in the build because I use most of the variations of all the different colors on all the different items in the build anyway I think the only one I don't use that much is a little paper cutout of um, a spooky house uh, I do plop it in at the end though because I realized I didn't use it in the build but um, I think that's the only thing that I didn't use as much yeah, putting on some wall trimmings. I had a, uh, I decided to put in little accents of white. I thought that with the, the sort of charcoal grey of the house and the black furnishings and windows and roofs and things like that, um, that it sort of made it stand out more. And I guess if I put it all as completely black, then you would have been able to see anything. Um, I think it works that way anyway. I actually, I've recorded this already, and this is my second time recording, because um, if you're going to record something, it helps if you actually plug in the microphone. <laughs> it's such a silly moment. Anyway, so I think that's how I leave the outside of the house. I put in some little cages. I thought they looked really, really cool, but um, I've struggled to put them in lots of places. Um, but I liked how they... Especially the square one looked like the metal was dented and old. So yeah, we're just putting some at the back. I think they're the last ones. Yeah, I use square. And then I think we uh put in we we're putting in staircases here. When I put in the staircases on the inside, um, you know when you're watching scary movies and you always see them walk into the house and there's that big set of stairs right by the entrance and they they immediately go for it. That's the first thing they go for and they walk up the stairs and everyone knows that what's up the stairs is the scary thing. And you're like, no, don't go up there. <laughs> Save yourself. Um that's the kind of thing that I wanted to show. So I wanted the big three wide stairs right at the front of the house. But it wasn't really working. So I did two wide stairs. But still big stairs. but uh, And kind of near the front of the house. So that was the closest I could get. But that was the feeling that I wanted to give across. 
Um, I don't show the wallpapers and flooring straight away when I'm showing you the objects later. Uh, they come later when I um, when I'm actually decorating the walls upstairs and um, downstairs. So uh, don't worry, I I did show you those. Some of them are really cool actually. Yeah, just putting in the gate at the front and then I think I do the pathway and then after that we will see the new items. Nope, I think we're putting in some lighting. I go back into the lighting later when I've got all the um, objects and ornaments and things like that. I try and put some sort of lights up there to make it sort of look like lights shining up on the house because that always looks really spooky but um you could see the lights so i didn't want to do that also that tree to me looked like it was struck by lightning i know that's just how they grow but i thought that was kind of spooky and eerie as well but here we go i think saving and then now this is me with the new stuff back so we've got some chairs which look like they've got a ghost living on them uh they come as just ragged cloth but also as uh with the ghoul face that bench you saw there is um part of the it's it's to make pumpkins on and uh as part of the party uh you need to be able to uh, you need to be able to carve two of those pumpkins. Also, I make this lot into a bar. Um, it's so that I think when you make a party, because I tested beforehand, when you make a, a spooky party, the only lots you can put them on is a residential lot, a lounge lot, um, a bar lot, and a nightclub. So I chose to put it in a bar also these uh curtains and that cobweb by the front gate um they actually sink into the ground when you place this if you haven't got move objects on but um i when i went in to play and put set up a party to test it and do the screenshots um when i then raise them back up to where they are now the sims can actually walk through them so um, when you're playing or using this lot, just quickly go into um, uh, go into the build mode, just delete them, and then your sons will be able to walk through fine. Uh, I thought it was a cool idea, but um, I didn't know that it wouldn't work, because normally you can walk through curtains, and I thought the spider webs would be the same, um, but you can't. And these pumpkins are actually uh, ones which you carve. I went in and did a little cheat so that we could get them and uh, I think they light up when you're actually in the game like you put candles in them which is really cool. Now I'm going through and I'm just darkening the grass making it look more dead and more spooky. When it was night time and the, um, you could see the grass it was it was almost neon it was so light in comparison to the rest of it so then I go around and I just fix some corners. Um, also possibly because i put in speakers all around the house but the sims really love using all the different spaces even upstairs um the corridors everything they love using every part of the house um which is really really good and they interact with all the objects on their own and that kind of thing so um the layout of the house actually works really really well uh for the party so um, also, I, I can imagine it would work well just as a normal bar. But here we go with the last of the new objects and um, all the diff some of the different colours and patterns. We've got some worn wooden tiles. Those carpets, I thought a lot of them you could use just generally in the game. They look really cool. And the... Um, ghosts the blue version of the ghost i end up putting that in the bathroom it looks like they're glowing i don't know if they are but it would be awesome if they are actually glowing if it's glowing wallpaper but it looks like it in the game um but anyway i'm gonna leave it here so you can watch the rest of the build i hope you enjoy it and i also hope that you enjoy um this stuff back let me know if you're gonna buy it or uh if you celebrate ha halloween um, in the comments below 
but um, this is up on the gallery already, so make sure to download it and use it as your party lot. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully see you again soon. Bye!